Now, this brings us to an interesting point that, that I think is relevant to us today. Sometimes you and I have experiences in life where we feel this covenant connection with God. We're, we're on a mountain peak of revelation. We're glorifying the Lord. We're, we're singing his praises. We're seeing his hand very clearly in our life, and it's, and it's wonderful, and we think, ah, we've arrived. But as you've noticed, we don't live, we don't dwell on mountain peaks of revelation, basking in the light of heaven constantly. There are moments but eventually those moments end and you come down off of the mountain into what you might call real life. And that's exactly what happens to David in chapter 8. He comes down from this, this lofty spiritual experience of having been given this, this uh, dream from Nathan, from the Lord, and then him reflecting on it, and now begins the difficulty of carrying out all those promises, and then continuing to deliver the people from the hands of their enemies. So he fights the Philistines in verse 1, he fights the Moabites in verse 2. Ver verse 4, David took him a thousand chariots from the them, a thousand chariots, 700 horsemen, 20,000 footmen, and then the Syrians of Damascus came, and verse 9, the king of Hamath gets involved. Y you're noticing that the opposition is coming from all around, circled all around the kingdom of Israel. They have enemies who are trying to thwart them and trying to take away their riches and their kingdom. And their peace. And their peace. Notice everything that David got, verse 11, which also King David did dedicate unto the Lord with the silver and the gold that he had dedicated of all the nations which he subdued. So everything David conquers or overcomes or takes in, he doesn't selfishly take it to himself. He dedicates everything to the Lord. I love that because you probably aren't out on physical conquests destroying people and taking the spoils of those battles that are won, but you are many of you going to work, you're, you're getting money, you're getting riches of, of all varieties, and the pattern here is instead of taking them to ourselves and turning inward, I love this pattern of dedicating them and devoting them to the Lord because those riches can very quickly become idols to us today. They can turn our heart horizontally to things of the world rather than vertically to the things of God, and so this is a beautiful pattern. Look at verse 14 now. David put garrisons in Edom, throughout all Edom put he garrisons, and all they of Edom became David's servants, and the Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. That's the part I wanted to focus on. The Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. It didn't matter whether he was going to the Philistines, the Edomites, the Ammonites, the Amalekites, the Lord is delivering him wherever he went. Verse 15, and David reigned over all Israel, and David executed judgment and justice unto all his people. 